What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Power to the Buster here. Uh, got these guys off of Amazon. And the thing about it is, by it being Amazon, not like actually in store, this was not taped at all. So that was pretty neat. Um, I like how this is technically copy and paste, <laughs> but the color change. But otherwise, the same image. Anyway, uh, yeah, got these guys. Uh, just opened them. Honestly, this is literally my first time opening these. And wanted to take a look at them. I mean, I don't really have a connection to the Psycho Rangers. I mean, I know of them. I was barely watching Power Rangers at the time. I mean, I was watching, but I wasn't like into it, into it. So the connection with me with these guys isn't as strong as some others but still a cool set um had this guy already with the texture in and everything all carries over because this is literally the exact same figure that i could tell you that right now uh word for word um except mine here has a little blemish this should have been silver even though it's technically not a real ranger well psycho ranger should have been silver um because i don't really believe in main characters as store exclusives like the dino charge black that just makes no sense i mean metallic rangers or something like that would be best but yeah so first of all Let's take a look. And this one legs is starting to get gummy pretty quick. So I'm hoping that's not really move this over the case with that one or those. So what we have here is the hands. Uh unique hand so far is black because the two fingers are connected together while the female is splayed out like the um what do you call it? Uh, like Storm and Jubilee and what, whoever else got those girl hands. Uh, you got the dramatic hand with the lightning effect. Red and blue do. So red and blue share the same hand and pink and yellow share the same hand. And this thing that popped out at me. So... Okay, already I see an issue here. Wait, did this unscrew? Like, could I unscrew this? If I could focus. It just constantly spins. But look at that. It's not wrapped around. Like, this should be around here. And I don't see a way to remove that. Hold on, let me look at this one. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. First flaw so far. So, I'm using this one, which sucks because this has a default, well, default defect in itself. Look at that. This doesn't have it. So, my question is, does this one spin too? No, this one does not spin. So I don't know what that is about. And I want to keep twisting it until it unscrews itself. But I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to unscrew. Oh lord, my dumb ass is spinning this part. <laughs> yeah, I swear. I can't be doing these videos at night, y'all. It's 3 a.m. Can't be doing it. It's the only time I really have it myself. So, fuck ups and all. But, yeah. Got Psycho Green. Got him almost in the Dragon Dagger position. And yeah, again, it is late. <sighs> I'm uh, tired, but I want to get this video out, especially since, again, I don't really have time to do anything in the morning. 
but yeah, as you can see, he got the texturing on the boots, all of them. All of them are sharing the exact same body, and the females are sharing the exact same body. Uh, do he got the spade? Yeah, he got the spade out. So red, blue, and green got the same exact fingers. Black is unique and special. Let me get this guy to stand up. They all have that same issue. They all based off the old body, so they all have to be in that white stance, unlike the in space. I mean, in space, time force red. So I'm gonna move this out the way first because I want to stand these guys up. And the odd man out is black. He got this gold trim even on there. I don't know why it's not white like the rest of them. But yeah, it's, it's gold. It should technically be white still because there's nothing else that would separate him. I mean, I could see if he was the leader and he got like gold, but I don't know. I don't even know if that was like that in the show. I'm just showing you guys. I'm just showing you guys what I'm observing. So, I'm just opening these. So, me standing them is going to be a bit difficult. I don't know what's going to be the right position. Or if any of them got loose legs or anything yet. So, uh, here's a close-up of this guy. Give you guys up close and personal look. Yeah, it looks looks good. Looks good. Which one is my favorite so far? I would have to say uh probably black and pink so far is my go to pose. <laughs> so yeah, uh yeah, trying to get their legs to stand right now. Let me see. Okay, that's that's good for now. Man, I'm bummed about that sword. I can't even get to the other guy's weapons yet. Yeah, look. Ugh, gotta break them legs in. Okay, so. There we go. Because all these guys are the exact same body, for the most part. So, what I am going to do there is um they got the green effect i think it looks good on light the uh the green so i might just have him be the only one using that i feel like it should be the colors probably wrong there also so far solid paint on all of these guys um you know what the helmets on these are a lot shinier than these ones see that and it's like that for all of them so set this guy down i'm gonna have to show you guys the weapons too so we got blue and you know what the sad part all these guys are gonna have to go right back in their case until i find that new house y'all Still have not found a house. And the colors, it's like really vibrant. But <laughs> here you cannot tell unless after the I record this and the playback shows otherwise. You cannot tell how bright and vibrant. From what I'm seeing in the viewfinder as I'm doing this, it looks uh, washed out and dreary. It's, it's not like that, y'all. It is not. Yeah, man, um, I'm digging these guys the most. Black, yellow, and uh, pink. Uh, let's see. Yeah, pink and yellow legs, well, feet, are in a pretty good standard position out the box. So, no matter like... <laughs> Where the guys have to have they foot balanced in one way, they have to get it the opposite. But oh lord, 
I got ghosts in the house, y'all. But here is the weapons and the explosion. They all come with a, a fist. Now, that being said, they should have all come with every lightning figure should come with chop fist now two of each chop fist fish lord have mercy chop fist grabby hands and weapon holding hands a set of all of them now her lightning effect is the same as mighty morphin pink and this is Pink Psycho's weapon. Which, yeah. Same clip thing. So it's ultimately like MMPR pink. So that's what she got. Blue got the axe still. There's no real reason to take that out. Red's flame effect. Another explosion for yellow. But this one is way more gummy than the last one. Huh. Interesting. And the weapon that yellow has is this uh, boomerang gun looking thing. Do the effect plug into here? Or something. I'll have to look into this. Because. I don't know. I feel like it's supposed to plug into here. Like. Choo. But I don't know how it would go. I mean maybe you could stick one of the randoms. No. Let's see. I'm usually the one telling everybody. Like no dummy. That's not how it goes. Look at my dumb ass. Trying to finagle something. But anyways, that's what she got. Uh, and the weapon that sticks out the most. I'm telling y'all, that Black Ranger is a man. This. It's like Rita's horn looking thing. The squirrel. This is the best looking one out of them all. Here's the bottom. Yeah, and you know, you guys probably by now know the articulation, but I'm going to go through it with a female and then one of the guys. But she can look down this much, up that much, not too much at all, pretty much. <laughs> much. Uh, left and right, diaphragm joint, what the... Uh, lower ab crunch the belt is not a floating piece this time it is actually stationed arms go out let me see out and she got a butterfly joint in there also check that out she got material even on the legs and look at the boots they got way more material than the guys so that's pretty cool so, single joint elbow, which, unlike the superset, I believe these actually, yeah, this is a pretty good range. I'm hoping the Super 7 ones, Ninja Turtles, actually get a 90 degree. So, yeah, hinge also with that wrist articulation. Uh, legs go out pretty good pretty good yeah she got the cut <laughs> whoa <laughs> yeah she got the cut they go pretty deep so roundhouse kick <laughs> um thigh swivel is it there uh let's see let me get these double knees going so double knee joint there's a, a thigh cut there it's kind of hidden, but it's also, there we go. So it's pretty stiff. So 
and the pivot and hinge ankle. This part should rotate on all rangers. So you get that um, forearm face in action. So yeah, and that's going to be for her in yellow. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if I want to display these guys. Yeah, I mean, I already don't have really have the space. But, yeah. I ultimately wish they released all Ranger teams this way. But, I know it ain't going to happen. Just like she ain't going to stand still, so I'm going to have to lean her. Okay, since this guy was the one out. So head go up a little, go down quite a bit. Arm go out, forward, double elbow, swivel hinge, ab crunch and diaphragm. Legs go out, double knee, swivel at the thigh, uh, hinge and pivot ankles. And I am taking his sword and giving it to the set. I don't know what to do with this guy, y'all. Not much of a customizer. So I would say I could customize it, but... Yeah. So... Sorry about that, folks. This is a late night review. Like or dislike. <laughs> Comment. Uh, tell me what you really want to tell me. Subscribe or not. Just enjoy. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah. Power to the buster out. See ya.